stand in my way. Tell me you won't move. Jeez, dog, got to be master of my own domain, right? Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd, and what a show we have for you today. Not only do we have interesting stories, but this is our one year anniversary episode. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the congratulations that have been pouring in. Uh, no one's written me any emails at all, actually. Uh, I, I just made that up. Uh, let's see. But, but it is our anniversary. Um, so at, at 50 years, there's gold. At 25 years, it's silver. Then I think somewhere in between, there's bronze, copper, brass, nickel, uh, tin, steel, um, chrome, zinc, pewter. So I'm guessing one year is something like a ball of aluminum foil. Hmm. You know, uh, <clears throat> this one year anniversary thing really isn't that exciting when you think about it that way. What a letdown. Huh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, in smoking news this week, new research is out with a warning about the dangers of third-hand smoke. Now, if you're like me, you just sat there in your computer chair and said, what the heck is third-hand smoke? Basically, third-hand smoke is defined as the residue smoking leaves on things like clothing and furniture and carpets. And according to the American Lung Association, it's dangerous. Check out this video. We know smoking can harm us, and if we live with a smoker, that secondhand smoke we inhale can affect us as well. That causes all kinds of problems such as lung cancer, such as COPD, uh, such as asthma. Now scientists are finding that third-hand smoke may also be harmful. Third-hand smoke is the residue that's created by the cigarette smoke. It's thought to contain cancer-causing chemicals, and it clings to bedding, curtains, furniture, and carpet. It may put children and adults at risk when they inhale it or touch it and ingest it. There's evidence now that Third-hand smoke is a risk factor in children for some of the same things as second-hand smoke, like chronic ear infections and chronic respiratory infections. Your clothes reek of smoke, your hair reeks of smoke. Your little child with asthma is going to get an asthma attack more than likely. <clears throat> all right, now, uh, this is all news to me, as I, I'm sure it is to some of you. I'm not going to stand up here on this video and try to debate whether this is true or not, or if there's really been enough research on this subject so that it can be considered conclusive. But I will say this. If you're a smoker, get ready. If you think life has been tough up to now, if you think you've been treated unfairly so far, if you think there's a lot of discrimination against smokers out there currently, just wait. I guarantee you, guarantee you that this information on third-hand smoke is going to be used to take bans and laws against smoking to a whole new level, a level we would have never even imagined. Wow. We'll be back in just a moment. Off tobacco fields in the Dominican Republic. The robust leaves are ready for harvest. Over 100 skilled artisans will hand process each leaf, an aging and blending process that will take four years. Only the leaves which prevail will become a Davidoff, the world's finest cigar. Soon face a big fine for your big butt 
in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm not talking about a bikini that reveals too much. I'm speaking of cigarette butts and throwing them on the ground. A new Don't Flick It campaign is set to roll out and the city has installed new outdoor ashtrays for smokers to use. So, if you partake of the cigarette in Green Bay and you don't fancy a $500 ticket, you may want to consider using those city ashtrays. After all, 500 bucks could buy a lot of smokes, man. And finally, an article from Convenience Store News says e-cigs may just surpass real cigarettes in total sales within the next 10 years. And if 7-Eleven is paying attention to this, so should we. The more popular e-cigs become, the more the price should come down, hopefully. And once the government figures out how to tax them, don't you worry, the FDA will suddenly get on board. After all, e-cigs have no second or third hand smoke, so critics are going to have to come up with a whole new set of things to bitch about. We'll see you all next time on The Smoke Report. Supposed to be my friend